on us for purposes either benign or malevolent. It's not the first time astrophysicist Avi Loeb has suggested the object has alien origins. He came on this show to say so a while back, even saying the object could be on a mission to release, quote, many probes that could invade Earth. And Avi Loeb joins us now. He's the head of the Galileo Project, director of Harvard University's Institute for Theory and Computation, also the best-selling author of the book, Extraterrestrial. Okay, why are we just now figuring out this thing is as big as it is? Why were we wrong in the estimates of its size? Thanks for having me. Well, we know that the object is losing mass because we see a cloud of gas around it that is a result of its warming up as it gets close to the sun, but it doesn't change its path. There is no push uh, that is visible on the trajectory of the object, and that means that it's very massive, at least a thousand times more massive than the previous one, which was a comet, Borisov, uh, di discovered in 2019. Uh, not only that it's so massive, uh, much more than the previous one, but there is also not enough rocky material in interstellar space to deliver such a giant rock uh, into the inner solar system over the past decade. Well, explain so, that. Explain that, Avi. Like, so, what do you mean there's not enough rock? What do you mean? Does this mean you don't, this is even further reason for you to think this isn't a natural object? Well, yes, because uh, there is limited reservoir of rocky material per unit volume in interstellar space. And even if you package all of it in objects of this size or, or bigger, then uh, there is just not enough number of objects to deliver them at random once per decade to the inner solar system. So that's another issue. And uh, the trajectory of this object is aligned with the planets around the sun, the, the plane of the planets. And, uh, on the one hand, you know, that's extremely rare, one in 500 chance, but on the other hand, it offers us an opportunity to observe it. And indeed, uh, uh, by the end of this week, it will come within 29 million kilometers from Mars, and uh, there are several orbiters there uh, that were deposited there by NASA, by the European Space Agency, by the Chinese Space Agency, and we will get much more information about it. In particular, we can get an image with a 30 kilometer pixel size. So, so we can then look at the brightest pixel and infer how big is the object. So if you think the chances are getting slimmer and slimmer that it's an, a man-made object, meteor, uh, what is it? <laughs> Well, um, there are some other anomalies. You know, during July and August, there was uh, uh, some glow in front of the object towards the sun, 10 times longer than it is wide. We don't see that uh, often in uh, comets. Usually, the glow is behind, trailing the object away from the sun. What does in that tell you, then? Well, we don't know. You see, that uh, is work in progress, and we just need more data. My point is simple. You know, any intelligence... Uh, agency knows that they need to make a contingency plan okay. for black swan events, events that are rare, unlikely, but could make a huge difference. We should do the same for interstellar objects. All Just right. be aware of the possibility that it could represent alien tech. Okay, anytime I hear black swan event and alien tech and interstellar objects, you're giving me, it's nightmare fuel. Avi Loeb, I'm sure we'll have you back. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.